So a package arrived today and I, I had uh, no idea what it was until, of course, I opened the box and here we go. Battle of Britain. Look at that. So let's get this sucker out of here and uh, see what all the little extra bits in the box are. Uh, have a look and have a little shrink grip action going on. There's a bunch of little bits and pieces in here. Throw that away. We don't need that. And we'll see what all the drama is about because it was uh, quite distressing to the owner to have to confess that the models aren't suitable uh, based on his uh, expectations. Now, I don't know. This is a snap together kit. So I guess this is just one of the bonus Kickstarter items. I'm just going to put that to one side for the moment. We've got the, the dice, the extra dice that came with the, uh, with the system. And here's the, some of the extra models, which, you know, we'll have a look at them. We'll pull them out and have a look, look at more detail. And then we've got a bunch of tiny decals. Mmm, I love doing crafts. That's going to be fun. And we can save 20% off on PSC games, which are mostly uh, games that, that's probably not my cup of tea. And why is it that I bought this then? You know, I don't know. I just had a little nostalgic moment here. And I decided that I really needed to have this. And I liked the look of the... Uh, the, the reprint and all the rest of it and the, the care that was going to go into it. Um, there isn't a larger map that you you can potentially buy, but I, I did not opt in for that. I, I'm going to work with what we have here. But basically, it's a handful of dice, some planes, some cards, stuff like that, and then you go for it and uh, run, run scenarios. And we'll, we'll have a look at it in uh, detail inside. I've only got uh, 20, 20 minutes or so time on my phone in terms of space. So this is not going to be the in-depth. If you want me to go through the rules, we'll do that later. But uh, first off, beautiful presentation, a lovely texture to the box. The artwork is iconic. Look at that. You've got the Spitfire on the front here. You've got the uh, 109s in the background. Uh, so they're Heinkels, I believe. I'm not super... Uh, au fait with all the exact uh, models of aircraft but uh, you get the idea right very nice rule book let's come back to the rule book we'll have a look at that in a minute let's just check out the components first so we've got the counter these are punch easy punch uh, chits for marking the map in terms of what you've destroyed or detected or not detected uh, obviously game term marker uh, i'm not sure what these are going to be used for but it looks like some sort of fuel indicator now i know that um, you have you each aircraft starts with three fuel chits and uh, basically <clears throat> as you're as you're engaged with your bombing runs you may use up some of those chits uh, well, they're not uh, they're not printed on the back side, so that that's interesting. So you're going to have to sort these carefully, and then not let two and even get flipped over when you're playing with them. This looks like uh, your standard explosions, or you've taken a hit. We've got a dogfight going on, uh, bombing runs, and things like that. Nice. Okay, and then you have, of course, all the different air groups that you're going to have to manage. And the Luftflots. Oh no, that's a that's a British one. The flights, damaged aircraft. These are yeah. Here's a Luftflot one. The flights A, B, and C. So you're going to go through all of those here, and they all go adjacent to the map. So we'll put those over there. Very nice cardboard, by the way. Beautiful finish on these. Uh, just different colors with the same artwork on the background. Uh, so it's all got the the box art on the front here. And let's move the box aside and let's see if we can't actually open up this map without doing too much damage to anything. All right, so get this guy out and let's turn him around. It's quite a large map. I'm, I'd have to look on the back of the box to tell you exactly how large it is. Might be a 36 by 24 thereabouts. It feels ample. Lots of space on the individual uh, individual uh, boxes here. 
nice high quality map it's laying out flat relatively speaking first time looks like they've spelt most of the words correctly nottingham is spelled correctly so that's something <laughs> uh okay you've got uh obviously the uh european zones here luftflot zones here and then the different areas that you're going to tackle uh on the map here for uh, the invasion and all that sort of fun stuff. Let's have a look at some of the aircraft. Oh, oh here's the card now, little cards, right? So we're gonna use these little cards to, uh, let's just get these open first and have a look at them. Eh. These are a little bit tricky to, I'm trying not to damage the cards as well. So you obviously all saw the post I made, or maybe you didn't, but I posted on the blog in regards to what's going on with the miniatures, that there was a problem with them and that they're going to be reprinted and sent to everybody. So it's going to be a very expensive endeavor. Uh, we'll see what happens with all of that. And if that actually does come to fruition, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that we'll all be asked to chip in some money at some point, but maybe not. I hope not. All right. Uh, so these are the missions that the the Nazis are going to uh, be given that they'll be they draw randomly, right? And then I think you 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 allocate those to different uh, groups, right? There's Spitfire cards, war missions. These are the actual unit cards. They're they're. Uh, uh, fighter strength, bombing strength, and damage okay, uh, absorption rate, I guess, is one way to look at it. So that's all just those cards. And I guess these are more of the same over here. So I won't, I won't fuss with opening them up right now. Let's have a look at, let's grab, let's find a Spitfire. If we can in here. If I can, if I can identify one. <clears throat> Hello, here we go. Let's pop these out. So here's one right out of the box. You can see he's a little twisted. It's very flexible. Um, I'm going to try and hold that up for you to look at. Sorry about my cuts on my fingers there. But there you go. There's, there's one of the aircraft right there. That's a, I think that's a Spitfire. Okay. Let me see. No, that might be a hurricane. This is a Spitfire. You know, they don't look too bad to me. I, I'm not, I wasn't expecting, you know, fabulously detailed models, to be quite honest. I'm not planning on doing too much in terms of painting. I was going to put decals on. I might paint these, but now I kind of do want to wait and see you know, what the deal is with the, the replacements. And there are stands for all these guys. So let's see if, and I haven't looked at the instructions on how to put stuff together yet. And we need to open the rules and have a look at them. Uh, but I imagine you're most interested in the components. Now it looks like the stands all come pre-made. So I'm going to try and put one of these together uh, <laughs> off camera and see if I can manage it. And if I can't, that will tell us something. Okay, well, that goes on very easily. So there you go. There's one. Let me move them. I think he looks pretty sexy. Let's find another aircraft. Here's an actual Spitfire. Oh, I probably got these on the wrong way. I don't know. Let's turn this guy around this way. Depends on how you like to see them. And obviously, no propellers. That would be too hard for 3D printing, I'm assuming. This one doesn't want to go on quite as easily. Mm, there's something on the on the stand. Let's get another stand. It's got a little piece of plastic stuck to it. Just make life easy. And we'll have a look at uh, have a look at how these shape up. Right? There's another one. There it goes. Zooming through the ether. Uh, let's have a look at the Germans. Okay, so we've got some bigger planes here, you can see. 
There's a Hankins, uh, Hankles, or whatever you call them. What are you, 189s, 1018? I forget the model number. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll have a look at those in a second. Shows you where to put the decal. It's got the Iron Cross on it, the swastika. So, you know, these don't look too bad. And these are very firm, very solid. I'm not sure what the fuss was about these. I, I Maybe it's... Uh, I know we're out of focus. Just bear with me. I'm going to pop this on a stand and hopefully you'll be able to see this in a second. <clears throat> so there's that guy. Let's see if we can find a little fighter. Here's a little fighter. So these are all kind of to scale, which I think is very cute. These are all uh, Mr. Schmitz. There's no fuckers in here. I don't know that might. No, they're all Mr. Schmitz. Here we go. Hmm, I mean, just some of these are a little tricky. I, I think there's just little residual bits of plastic on the ball at the top of the this thing here. It won't, it won't zoom in that close, hang on. Yeah, see how there's just a little, little bits of residual plastic. You gotta kind of probably file those off and you know, doing a shrink rip is not the time to do that. It doesn't mean it's difficult to prepare. It just means it's well, so that's an interesting scale difference. See that? Huh. That's curious. I'm not sure that that looks good. Now when this dude this dude looks like he's had a rough day at the office. He's a little warped up. And twisted right that's clearly I would not be happy with that as a buyer and I'm a buyer and oh this this guy's just food bud yeah he's he's all over the place yeah that's not cool so that's two plus this one here which had a twisted tail now he's a different uh yeah this aircraft is kind of food bud as well Although I do, I do like the canopy on that. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I probably got the wrong. I think I have the wrong, uh, wrong model types. Let me just see what we got in here. It says, um, yeah. So we do have Hurricane. It just says Haya Heikels, Junkers, and Dorniers, uh, and obviously 109s. And there's 110s as well. But I'm not. I'm not going to tell the difference at this sizing. Which is which? So let's just have a look. I, I'm a little surprised at the um, how these larger bombers are turning out. They're really, they're really pretty bad, actually. So hopefully there will be replacements because that, you know, that sucker. I, mean, I guess you could probably bend these into shape. I don't know. I'm not sure. I want to dick with trying to break one here. Yeah, this guy. Look at this guy. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe he'll bend in the shape. And if that's so, you know, maybe that's fine. And then it just depends on whether he'll stay bent in the shape. And he's starting to curve back up. There you go. That's a little bit better. But the, the whole aircraft is actually... I don't think they are meant to be that flexed. I don't know. So, well, that's the that's the units, right? So then you got uh, two sets of dice. Uh, I think some were some sort of premium dice. I, I don't remember. And you got decals. You got some more aircraft here. There's some Brit a British bomber of some type. Probably a Blenheim or something like that. And uh, I said we had rules, didn't I? Here's, here's another aircraft. Another one. This one looks okay, right? A little fighter. There's only three fighters. One, two. I thought there were more fighters than this. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe there's and there's some more aircraft actually. So, all right. Actually, I just showed you those. That's fine. Um, rules are underneath here. So let's have a look at the rule book now, and uh, that's the models. Full color rule book by the looks of it. 
clocking in at 36 pages with uh, two pages of designer notes and, um, sorry, a page of designer notes, maybe. What is this? Run to 40. Nope, 37. Two pages of historical commentary, some scenario adjustments, basic game setup, uh, games of three to four players. Uh, goes through all the components here in detail on the left-hand side. Number of squadron cards and aircraft. 22 planes all in all. 12 British aircraft. <clears throat> 10 German aircraft. So there should be four fighters. I see one. And I have one over here, two. I'm not seeing... Uh, There's a Stuka in there, that's cool. I'm not seeing a, fourth, a third or fourth aircraft, a third or fourth fighter, so I'm not sure what the story is there. One, two. Hmm, okay. Anyway, all the bases are labeled. Ah, the bases are labeled, are they indeed? I can't see in this light, but uh, maybe they're labeled. Oh, we put labels on them, perhaps. There we go. Aircraft displays, targeting and production tracks. All pretty well laid out. Big font, well spaced, lots of diagrams. Had a walk through a turn here by the looks of it. Beautiful production quality on everything for the, from the map to the rules. Uh, let's check the scenarios in the back. Let's see what the story is there in terms of uh, what is actually going on here. Battle for Britain, three or four player. Or is it just a one, just a, a campaign game? And it's got a full step-by-step -step explanation in the back by the looks of it. Yep, so it's not a scenario-based uh, game. It looks like it's more of a campaign-based game. Something I probably should have known at the outset, but there you go. Uh, right, so there you have it. There's the... These cards are, are well done, nice, but they're they're a little small. You know, you can if I had a banana for, for scale, <laughs> you could see, right? So there you have it. The Battle for Britain. A fun light game that has some out of the box production issues that may require you to do a little bit of a little bit of uh, work on them. And it actually looks like I've got these on the wrong way anyway, doesn't it? It looks like I, they, they should be this way. And I bet you if I was a minis guy, I would know that. All right, they should be on this way, Kev. There we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Here it is. Let's wait to see what happens with all of the the uh, changes and uh, reproduction of minis that is supposed to occur. And we'll look forward to having a go at this at some point. It's a 12, a 12 and up uh, aged game. Two to four players, 90 minutes it's calling. And uh, there is a choking hazard warning here as well. So do be careful when you're chewing on these pieces. All right, you all take care. Talk to you soon.